All right, what it is. What it do. We are on the real. All right. So, I got this video from this up and coming country artist. Mm. He's somehow related to me. I was just about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know how I'd have to trace back the family trees, but. Um, oh, you're being serious. Like he's really related to you? Yeah, everybody with that name is related. Oh, wow. There's only two people from the, what was it, the 1500s, 1600s? Mm -hmm. Two people came to the Americas. They were brothers, mm -hmm. same last name. And oh. everybody in the United States with that last name is related to those brothers. Wow. So Interesting. Yeah. I don't think it's that far back, though. Um, he's probably like second or third cousin or something. Um, but anyway, up-and-coming country artist. And i kind of been not paying too much attention to what he's been doing. Mm -hmm. But then he had a big reveal on this video and it's going really well for him. Uh, a local bar even made his, recorded him on a stage and turned it into a commercial for their bar. Oh, wow. So I heard this song and I was like, wow, this thing, this hits like 90s country. It's really good. Mm, you know where you're from or? Uh, Don't mean to put you on a spot, just wondering. We'll come back to that. Yeah, <laughs> he said it in like Facebook or something, but I can't remember. Okay. Um, I want to say Alabama, but I could be wrong. Okay, probably somewhere I'm down probably south. I'm probably wrong. Down south. But somewhere. yeah, Midwest somewhere. Okay. Midwest or south. Uh, so this is called Red Mexico. The, the artist's name is Eli Alger. Hmm. All right, so here we go. Let's check it out. I've heard it. He hasn't. Not at all. So. Drive through Yogi Arrow Taco Bell. We got a donkey pinata hanging from the clothesline. And my jackass brother, he's swinging for its inside. <laughs> wow. What do you think so far? So far, so good. I like the I like the instruments. Yeah, it's, uh, live music is probably his music he's playing, right? His um, this one's actually recorded, I think, in oh. a studio. I could be wrong. I don't know. Let us know. Right. Um, but yeah, I to me it reminds me of like '90s Alan Jackson, mm. just the music and the voice. What is your interpretation of a redneck? Me. Mm -hmm. Um. If you had to just put it in a simplest, and I know everybody probably got a different interpretation of it, so I'm just wondering. Just red Mexico. What is a red? What is a red? Mexico? Oh, it'll get to that. I was wondering about the title too. I was like, what is up with that? <laughs> you, you'll see when when the chorus. Oh, okay, um, okay. But my interpretation of a redneck, uh, someone that's country, lives in the country, or you know, not really lives, or if they move to the city, that's different. But someone from the country, mm -hmm. um, and they're just their country hmm okay I'm, I'm asking because I know it's just like different interpretations of it and generally when I hear redneck the association I've been given is just like oh we bet, we bet, it's a bunch of rednecks over there you might not oh, want to <laughs> that, kind of, uh, that <laughs> so makes sense that's what I was wondering that makes sense yeah um well, we could talk about it later it was yeah just, no it, I could definitely see that because growing up in a small town I saw some racism huh. um but it's, it's a kind of a negative yeah. connotation. It's, it's usually when you hear redneck, it's not nothing positive. True, true. <laughs> it's a negative stereotype. Um, there's a lot of negative stereotypes that go with it, or at least they used to. Mm -hmm. um, there's probably still, some, you know, stuff like that lingering right. around. But that's that's not what I think of when I hear redneck. I think country. Okay. They're from the country. And there's uh, one more. There's one, one, one social class above hillbilly. That's what I was going to say next. Yeah. So it's almost just like a, what do they say, like a, uh, a trailer, trailer park. Trailer you, trash. Yeah, yeah. Something in that line. No offense to no hillbillies. Offense. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was just, I just wondering. we're talking about the negative connotations and yeah. stuff like that. Um, I know some people that are considered hillbilly and, you know, good okay. people just... You know. Okay. Um, 
I just wanted to, you know, I know yeah. you grew up in a small town, and I'm sure you've probably seen a lot more rednecks than I have. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering. So, yeah, I um, people I know that consider themselves to be from the hills or hillbilly or wherever, it's like it's not really offensive to them. It's just. Would you consider yourself a redneck? Uh, no. Okay. Only because. I don't know. Okay. We'll talk I, about it later, man. We'll <laughs> I don't consider myself. But you know what's funny is like, I guess the way I carry myself now, I don't consider myself redneck. Mm-hmm. Um, but I remember when I was in the Navy and <laughs> I get home and my roommate who's from Ohio, a, a suburb of Ohio, Hillsboro, but still close enough Cincinnati is like right there. He considered him, you know, he's he's a city boy. Okay. And so... He rents this movie, and this is the 90s, the early 90s, and I look at the movie, I'm like, Just Cuz? What's Just Cuz about? <laughs> and he laughed, he's like, you mean Just Cause? <laughs> I'm like, oh! <laughs> he's like, you are such a hick. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, so hick and redneck, same thing almost? Yeah, pretty okay. much. Just someone okay. from the sticks, someone from the country, small town. Okay. And so, not as cultured when it comes to the city or okay you know, in general city city boy just want to know yeah cry mind <laughs> let's finish so, checking it out all right <laughs> thanks for the uh information and yeah. <laughs> no the <problem>. enlightenment <laughs> Okay, do you understand the Red Mexico a little bit more now? A little bit, yeah. Okay, I just thought of a comparison. Redneck is probably equal to hood. Mm. Hillbilly equal to ghetto. Mm. Okay. Do I have that right? That's a good analogy. Because there's hood and then there's ghetto. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you can find racist people in both but it really when it comes down to reality ooh. doesn't represent the majority Ooh, this is interesting my um my sociology professor would love this conversation <laughs> does that make sense yeah absolutely it's, it's the same thing there's racism everywhere okay and the the there's stereotypes that makes, that makes so much sense yeah because you know usually uh and, and you know coming from the city um and you know from my viewpoint and what I've seen, it's always most like when I was saying before, it's almost like, oh, there's rednecks over there. Be careful. So yeah. it's almost and it's almost like, oh, there's thugs over there. Yeah. There's faces over yeah. there. OK. But that doesn't mean they're all right. Like, automatically racist. OK. That's I think that's just, you know, that's a good way to put it. What that's you guys how we've think? all been brainwashed. It's really not <laughs> yeah. about race. It's right. about social class. I've been preaching that forever. This is interesting. Feel free to chime in, guys. Yeah. If you all want to leave a comment, let us know what you think. So we never planned on this conversation going the way it is, but they're two <laughs> handsome and mature young men, and, you know, we can have this conversation. Sometimes it's something to talk about. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's cool. Jerry Lee's in the backyard and showing off his salsa moves. He made a stinking wrong step, and now he's scraping off his shoes. Beer past buzz cause he just broke our only rule Don't drink the water from the kiddie pool Oh. It's, it's red Mexico instead of Mexico. <laughs> right, 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 right. It goes together very well, yeah. red Mexico. It sounds like an actual place. It does. <laughs> is it a place? It may be. <laughs> I'm trying to catch the instruments. The doom, doom, doom. Is that the piano or? I, I was just wondering if that was a harpsichord. Okay. You know those harpsichords you play yeah, like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It, yeah, but I don't know. Let us know. Yeah. I've never been to Tijuana, but I'm wearing as I have And sharing makes a mean margarita To be a 
senorita from Birmingham. Luke calls in sweet on Alabama, the blaring on the stereo. Out on the farm with my amigos in red Mexico. Whoa, here comes Stan, he's a dark Brooks fan. I see why they use this as a commercial. Yeah. That name flows so good, but it almost it doesn't look that way. Yeah. But the way you hear it, it mm-hmm. flows so well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it sounds better than it looks. Absolutely. On paper. And it could be so but, marketable. So I'm just yeah. thinking I'm not like a marketing uh, pro or nothing like that, but <laughs> that has a nice little ring to it. Yeah. <laughs> I love this song. It's really catchy. Yeah. Um, I'm putting it in my playlist. Nice. So yeah, um, it, it's definitely a vibe. Yeah. It makes me want to go to the country. It, <laughs> <laughs> we're still working on that. I'm yeah. still waiting on my truck. Okay. So as soon as it's fixed and okay. we got the green light, then cool. we're going. Cool. And then we'll we'll do some recording. For yeah. We might even do a um. We might do a reaction to our visit. Maybe we can. Yeah, I got a new gun too. Oh, cool! You like it? Yes. Um, but yeah. So let's finish this up. Finish it up. I bought two bottles of rosé. Hey, they were having a sale. Definitely a vibe there. Yeah. Check him out. I'll leave his link in the description as usual. Sub- subscribe to his channel. Give him some support. So, yeah, no man. offense. To no offense to anyone. Rednecks, hillbillies, hood, gangsters. Er- Look, we all come in different shapes, yeah. size, colors. We're all Thugs, different. Whatever. Yeah, everybody can't be the same. Do so, you you thing. Know, we're just having some we're conversation. Just- Talking That's about all. differences. That's all. That's <laughs> so. all, guys. So keep it friendly. You leave a comment. We, we wouldn't mind hearing from you, but let's keep it respectful and friendly. And we appreciate all you guys and all the comments. Make sure you subscribe. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Um, I, I, I feel like <laughs> I feel like here we are. We're trying to promote this <laughs> this new artist, and we turned into like. We're losing subscribers. <laughs> you know what? No, I don't think we do. I, we might actually gain some subscribers because yeah. I, I think it's kind of good to talk about these things. Yeah. And honestly, you know, uh, that's probably why there's a lot of ignorance and a lot of because we don't talk about these things. So, Not civilly anyway. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. country boy, city boy. You see, <laughs> we're here together. Just food for thought. Yep. We'll see you next time. We are on the real. Later. Peace.